please stay tuned through the video. I have a surprise for you in regards to this flight and it may not all be as good as I thought. What's up travelers? A very Merry Christmas to you from London Heathrow, even though it's the beginning of January. Today I am flying the world's best business class, or at least that's the title of this video because we don't quite know yet. By the looks of it, this seat rivals or even surpasses the current world's best business class, Qatar Airways Q Suite. However, looks can be deceiving. So I'm here in my birth city, London, after three weeks at home in Sweden, just chilling, cozying it up in front of the fire with my family and friends and spend the most amazing time. But it's time to get out back into the world with a five month long non-stop, well, I wouldn't say it's a trip, just five months of non-stop travel, hence the name, I guess, non-stop Dan. Well, today you guys are coming with me live as I try a new seat I've been dying to try for months on an airline that's already one of my favorites. Here we go, by the end of the video, I'll have the definite answer whether or not this is the world's new best business class. So let's try the brand new a and The Room business class. I am so excited. But before we get into that, I have a quick message from the people who made this objective self-funded review possible. It's my first big fight of the year and as always there's been a lot of planning involved. So I'm so happy to partner with Dashlane on this since they're a vital tool in my planning. Specifically, I love being able to store credit card information, financial passwords and passport information all in a safe place. I often book travel for others as well obviously so the tight and saving with Dashlane over having to call them every time is really significant. I save even more time since Dashlane autofills the information for me. You can start saving time too and get Dashlane for free on your first device by going to dashlane.com slash nonstopdan. You can also upgrade a premium and sync your information across all your devices with 10% off using code nonstopdan. So once again, to learn more, go to dashlane.com slash nonstopdan. Hello, hi. Okay, <laughs> I feel completely speechless. I honestly don't know what to say. Welcome to The Room by a and This is the most speechless I've probably been by any business class cabin ever. This looks better than most first classes, just when you see how wide the seat is. It blows my mind. Wow. Welcome on board the room. This really does feel like an entire room in here. It is insane. This couch is seriously wide enough to fit almost three people. So we the seat here. Pillow, memory foam pillow, blanket, mattress pad, slippers, headphones. This is like as high as a child. Yet, and I'm dying 
for them to close the door so we can try out what it's like with a fully enclosed suite. For now, they just handed out the menu, so let's check it out. Sake, shochu, plum wine, champagne, wine, red wine, more wine, even more. So much to see. Soft drinks, huge selection. Loads of delicious sounding teas, Japanese meal, Western meal, in-flight snacks, and breakfast. Individual air nozzles, yay! Closet with a mirror, seat controls, tree table, entertainment system, and storage with another USB port. Finally, the huge leg rest and more storage underneath. So I'm just checking out the entertainment system and it is insanely high resolution. The screen is like full on HD. Japanese airlines aren't known for their great entertainment systems. In fact, they're quite known for having quite bad entertainment system. So I definitely think the selection isn't great, but the screen quality is amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm getting tired now, it's getting later, but we have started the flight with some drink service, real drink service this time in these huge glasses. I mean, look next to my face. This is grapefruit juice. And here's the a and Signature Citrus drink. So cheers, let's try this out again. So good. Tastes like vitamin water, but I like vitamin water, so... Uh... Alright, the very first dish of the meal is here. We have this amus bush, quite a big amus bush, lit by the food light <laughs> with my grapefruit juice. Alright, and the appetizer is here. We have this veggie plate served with some dressing some spices, some corn soup, and some orange juice. Looks quite good, it's a nice plate, I like it. And also some bread now. Finally, it is time for the main course. Here it is, let's check it out, it smells so good. This is the main course of my vegan vegetarian meal. It is an Indian dish, which I wouldn't expect on a Japanese airline. Time has come to go to sleep. This is what the bed looks like. Okay, hi you guys, welcome to the bed. I really wanted to be as positive as possible in this video, but the fact that it took three hours after takeoff for that meal service to finish, when it wasn't dying on demand, everyone was eating at the same time, and the meal was kind of basic as you saw. I just feel like it's so frustrating when you're trying to get the most out of your business class experience. You have a bed, you want to sleep as much as you can, and then these things drag on and on, and you can see the cabin lights. There's no mood lights on this plane that's just a year old. Oh, I also just remembered that uh, I didn't actually do an unboxing of the mini kit. See, so yeah, there were slippers in the mini kit, and uh, what else? Yeah, headphones on this flight, no pajamas. I'm gonna insert here the clip of when I open this identical memory kit on my previous meal on flight in October. It's exactly the same. Let's have a look at the amenity kit on board. There's this full like description of what's inside on the plastic. Look, the plastic is perforated. It's these Japanese touches. Look at this. <laughs> Here are the contents.
guys from another flight. Sorry for the quick interruption. I just have a question that's going to seem super random now, but it will make sense very soon when you find out. If you're in a long distance relationship, meaning that you and your significant other need to travel more than a few hours to see each other, please, please, please help me out by filling out the form in the description below. It will take only one or two minutes and you'll really, really be helping me out. So if you're in a long distance relationship, thank you. Good morning, guys. Uh, what a weird night's sleep that was for me. I'm, uh, I hate to say this. I really, really hate to say this because it's the pinnacle of first world problems after sleeping. I'm noticing how hard the seat is. It's almost like sitting on a bench. And also, the sleeping angle was the same as Singapore Airlines where you kind of have to sleep diagonally. And the second thing is that literally, uh, this is so triggering to me and it's such a shame on an 11 hour flight that they would limit passengers to five hours of sleep because two and a half hours hours before landing, all the cabin lights just went from being like dimmed to BAM on, like really, really strong cabin lights. Sorry for being such a complaining old uh, man, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's just you expect it's a certain level from a five-star airline. Okay, little update, it's been an hour since they woke us up by turning on all the cabin lights, they gave up hot towels and no more service has happened. So one hour and 10 minutes after waking us up, they're serving beverages. So uh, I have some hot green tea, which I'm super excited about, and some more grapefruit juice. So are you guys ready to see the breakfast? I've been waiting one hour and 20 minutes for. Ta-da! This is it, all served on one tray. Got some bread just tossed on here, some fruit and some incredibly dry looking rice with just roasted vegetables. All right guys, I'm gonna try to conclude while the door is still um, closed. I really, really, really like hate to criticize this. Obviously the seat is amazing. To me, I would say it is on par with Q Suite, but it's not better. In some ways it's better, but in some ways it's worse. For example, obviously the seat is wider, so you have even more space than in Q Suite, which makes it better. However, in Q Suite, the finishes are so much more like classy and luxurious. The seat, I'd say, is softer, so the bed is more comfortable in a way. But here also, um, you don't have the annoying headrest. I would still say it's on par to be the world's best business class seat. But what about the service? Because you guys saw there was no pre-departure service whatsoever. The fact that they kept the cabin lights like blaring with this white light in the middle of the night is like, there's no reason to do that. And then to wake everyone up after just five hours of sleep also by blasting the lights on the highest strength of it. It's not a nice way to wake up. I guess my main takeaway is that unfortunately, between all these things, even if one was a fluke, like the long meal service today, between all the misses on this flight when it comes to the soft product and the really hard bed, I can't call this the world's best business class. I'm beyond bliss and ecstasy cause you exist in comfort me. And the first class cabin, this TV is crazy. Wow. Hi guys, from the floor of a shower room here in Tokyo, Haneda. I just wanted to summarize my experience once and for all. First of all, um, let's talk about the seat. As I said, the seat is really on par with Qatar Airways Q Suite for the best business class seat in the world. The thing that shocked me and really disappointed me 
was that my initial impression of the bed was very different from actually trying to sleep in the bed. I found the bed really hard and kind of awkward to navigate, especially with the seatbelt being in the middle of the seat. So I ended up not really sleeping so well during the mere five hours that they gave us to sleep on this 11 hour flight. I also thought that the service flow was just a mess with the meals taking so long. So I really hope that all of this with the lack of personalization, the lack of pre-flight service, the lack of any sort of customizability. Um, I hope that was a one-off for my flight because my last a business class flight was so good and it left such a good impression on me. So I hope that's the real a and as opposed to what I experienced today. <laughs> so I'm sorry to be such a whiner, but as you know, I always share my honest experiences with you guys. And I just think today a and did not hit the mark in so many ways. So unfortunately, I cannot say that a and The Room is the world's best business class. Of course, I'd recommend to try it, especially for the seat, because the hard product is amazing, and hopefully the soft product can be better when you try it too. If you get the chance, <laughs> don't say no, and I would gladly fly it again, but maybe I wouldn't seek it out quite as much as I thought I would. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to show support and that you want to see more honest reviews like this, as always. And thank you to Dashlane for making this objective, self-funded review possible once again. So until I see you all next time. I also want to remind you that what I've been wearing throughout this video is my merch. You can shop it at nonstopdan.com slash merch. You know what comes next. Fly safe.